comes Harris. A fumble. Fresno State has it. Rodgers recovers. They blitz the free safety number four in the play, Rabel, and that really created it. You can't block everybody. You don't have enough people up here, but sometimes the quarterback has to account for that man. But even Tony Kimbrough, as good a QB as he is, does not have eyes in the back of his head. He can't see Craig Bowens coming. Great call by... Higgins gets 12 on the reception, 15 more on the personal foul in Fresno State with a first down at their own 45. They pick up the blitz. Barstody wants to go deep. Alexander is there. Makes the catch. Touchdown! Sodi finally finding the range. Number one, Andre Alexander. Now watch Barsotti sets himself and lets her rip. And Alexander just runs past the cornerback, Paul Davis, falling down, trying to make the play. Alexander kind of uh, not complaining this week, but just letting it be known that he would have liked to see the ball a few more times this season, as would Pickens. But because Fresno State went to that running game, they were kind of shut down just a little bit. Very fine talent, but when he's blocking that football, he's a different player. This time, he's off and running, and he's finally cut down from behind past the 40-yard line. And they said when he carries a football, his all, his attention is there. When he has to block, he's a little different player. Just when we say that maybe he doesn't always do what he needs to do, here he cuts back across the crease, and now look at the nice job, runs out of the tackle right there. That's just a great effort on his part, a 20 more consistency. Well, he is the fullback, and now he will break from that fullback position and operate as an off back to the right side. Stephen Shelley goes in motion. Barsotti to throw. Downfield, man open, caught by Stephen Shelley. Barsotti starting to find that range a little bit. After the 50-yard, 50 55-yard touchdown pass earlier, he hadn't done too much. Here, the 25-yard completion to Shelley. Lots of time. Isn't it amazing how well a quarterback throws when he gets a little bit of time to throw? And there's a great catch. Probably called by Jim Sweeney. <laughs> <laughs> he won't admit to it, but it probably was. Well, he told us yesterday that he likes the bootleg in certain situations. That may have been one of them. This time, Craig Jones goes from the left side to the right side tight end. Western Michigan showing the blitz. Barsotti checking off. Here comes the blitz, and here comes the deep pass. Alexander out there. Touchdown! His second of the game! He caught one touchdown throughout the regular season, and he has two already in this game. Try to confuse the young quarterback, and sometimes you confuse yourself. Great play. Alexander just runs away from the coverage. That time, Scott Bell, he was beaten by three steps down. Dave Telford is on the sideline, and he is an experienced senior quarterback who threw for over 2,000 yards last year. They have gone to him in the past, but they will stick with Barsotti here. Rosette, 50 yard line, he has great speed. Darrell Rosette for the touchdown, 65 yards. And what a way to break open offensively for Fresno State. This, they've done it all year long, run the ball. And Darrell Rosette, who is taking over here for a banged-up Clyde Skipper in the second half. One move, two moves, breaks through the line. A good block downfield by his wide receiver, Andre Alexander. And Rosette, with his 4-4 speed, is off to the races. Boy, have we starting to wave those towels, trying to get their hometown fans into this football game. Ajima, the lone setback. And he gets it. Forget it. Ron Cox. Sporting News said he was the best rich away. Well, you look around Bulldog Stadium here, and you don't have any trouble seeing lots and lots of red for the Fresno State Bulldogs. 
including the head coach dressed in it. Al Moldy's trying to deal with it, and he told his quarterback, if you can't hear, you step away. Well, Jack Baker, the referee, just said, I'm not buying that, coach, and Tony Kimbo. You guys find a way to make your signals heard or use silent signals because we're going to get this game played. Well, this will really get the crowd involved. And they will warn them soon and then start to take timeouts away and then penalize them. Now, quite frankly, I think the way you do this is as the quarterback of the team in a hostile setting, you got to come up and use hand signals to your offense, use silent signals to get the playoff. That's what quiets the crowd. And the crowd doing their job, and Fresno State recovers the fumble. Well, that's the 12th man doing the job there. Kimbrough could not hear, and the offensive center, Doug Miller, couldn't hear, and he snapped the football too soon. Tony, you got to tell the rest of your team what you're going to do, though, when you get up there. If you're going to go on that quick count, Kimbrough was not alert, not ready for the snap of the ball. Everybody else is moving. 89 in the dark jerseys. Pressure there. Barsotti, great catch by Myron Jones, 20-yard line, Jones to the five, and down he goes. What a pass by Barsotti, falling down. 30 yards. You are so right. This is just a great athletic play by Barsotti to get rid of this pass. He's chased out of the pocket. The blitz by the inside backers. He sees it coming. He flips the ball away, takes a shot as he passes it, and Myron Jones does the rest using that speed. Look at Andre Alexander downfield blocking. We don't see many wide receivers. Rosette. put on a splendid display. Rodgers almost got him. Kimbrough will run for the first down, or very close. He fumbles, and it's the Bulldogs football. His third fumble of the game. That, that ball very nearly went out of bounds. Had it, Western Michigan keeps control. The officials are talking about it right now. But Kimbrough, wanting to get that first down, doesn't slide. Look at him. Stay up. That's where the ball came out. He was hit right square in a breath basket. And the ball, as you can see, stays in bounds. Brian Greer is the one that falls on it for Fresno State. But, Steve, it was the guy who was penalized earlier. Mark has pulled. Look at him stick his helmet right in Kimbrough's stomach where the football is. In fact, the ball started to slide out even before Pope put his hat on it. Kimbrough not tucking that ball away as he should have. Now the officials are talking third down and one. Myron Jones breaks into the backfield. He could go. Touchdown, Fresno State. Six yards and the touchdown on a third and one. Get in that wishbone. Just looking for some power offense, and Jones makes this play.